All right, y'all. I am currently driving from Sarasota to Tampa because I have a lead on what might be the most epic race week trailer I have ever seen. Dude, look at the lease springs on this thing. I was so surprised to see that. Great tires. Those look brand new. I pulled over on 275. Get a little... Welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos today. I got Mike here at DecoCrete and we are doing the epoxy floors in the garage. This is the garage build part two. And Mike's a little special to me. We met because he came to me needing some help with his teeth, right? Yes, sir. So we did, gave him all new teeth. We did some dental implants. And so we kind of have a really cool relationship in this sense that we work together. I helped him out with dentistry. He's helped me out with my garage. So let's get to it. Basically what they've done so far is they've painted the surface with a penetrating epoxy that they mix part A and B and then they lay down a bunch of chips. So I'm doing 100% chip coverage. That way the texture of the surface when it's fully cured has a little bit of rough texture to it because when it rains here in Florida, these epoxy floors get super slick and I don't want anybody tripping, falling or slipping in this thing. So now that it's cured or it's dry, they're scraping up all the extra chips gonna blow them off and then they put their top coat on. Pretty cool process. Poxy Floors in Sarasota. These are your guys right here at Deco Creek. Well, that wraps it up. This is part two of the garage build. Next, we got to go put up the lights and paint the inside of the garage and get everything start moving in within a month. Pretty excited with how it's coming out. It's my dream garage for now. And I uh, can't wait to get my cars in here. So stoked. All right, y'all. I am currently driving from Sarasota to Tampa because I have a lead on what might be the most epic race week trailer I have ever seen. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, race weeks, drag weeks, or when you drive your race car on the street for five to seven days at a time, you gotta bring everything with you. You can't have a chase vehicle, but you can have a small trailer. And so over the past couple of years, well, really over the past year since I've had Dr. Pepper, we have been shoving everything possible into the back of the car and it was such a headache. Every time we got done racing or got to the track, we would have to unload all of our luggage, all of our tools, all of our spare parts. Everything we had, we had the tires and extra fuel mounted on the roof of the car. It was just a disaster. The suspension was completely bottomed out and I had always talked about how nice it would be to have a race week trailer. Now it's got to meet a certain dimension. I believe it's like four by eight or four by six feet and other guys have them and I've always been so jealous. So I've kind of kept an eye out uh, or been brainstorming about what I could do to be different than everybody else's race week trailers, but it still be functional and super sick at the same time. Well, last night I got a lead off Instagram about this trailer that's for sale in Tampa and y'all are not gonna believe it. I mean, when I saw it and then I saw that it was in Tampa, I immediately called the guy up. I was like, you cannot sell this thing to anyone. I will be there as soon as possible to pick it up. So we're on our way. We're gonna go check it out. It looks like it's in decent condition. It's been sitting outside, but I mean, it is absolutely perfect for what we need. Here it is. <laughs> A Dr. Pepper cooler trailer. Oh my God, this is all metal. 
No way. That is so cool. Look at the wheels on it. These tires are pretty stout too. Dang, this is epic. I love it. Let's see, so this is a cooler, right? Put a little hydraulic on there. It Looks had, like it, it had one, yeah. yeah it, it looked like it had, um, and it was about to put um, shocks and it never did. Yeah, dude, this thing is sweet. Guys, we got Ruben here, and he knows a little bit more background on the old Dr. Pepper trailer. Can you tell us a little bit about this thing? I belong to an old man that uh, he brought his old car in to have us redo it, and he gave it to us part as a trade-in. No way. So yeah. how long have you had it for? Four, four or five years. And he, and he had it for a long time, right? He had it for a while, yeah. Yeah, and just was like, this is what I want to give you as collateral he, for taking care of my the, car. Him and the boss worked it out, and the boss thought it was pretty cool, so he says, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I can't believe that it's all metal, too. I thought these were decals for sure. No. I mean, it's it's a legitimate trailer. Yeah. Do you know what he That's used it for? Long. He, I honestly don't know what he used it for. He had a, the truck he had was, uh, it was red and black kind of went with the colors so i yeah. don't know if he took it to the car shows with him probably or what he did with it but uh he had no use for it he just wanted to get rid of it and the owner thought it was cool so he goes yeah let's well, you know we'll work a deal out right right and so like i said these guys have had it sitting around for about four or five years and people have been blowing me up about this listing yesterday so i will tell you guys straight up they're asking 1200 bucks i am paying the full 1200 because it is worth every dollar to me i'm not even going to try and talk him down because it's it's so beautiful. It's way better than I thought it was going to be. This is not a sponsored ad, but Gen Y makes an absolute beef unit of a tow hitch here, drop hitch. So we're going to get her hooked up to my truck here, see if we have the right ball size hitch, because I think it's, it's too small. It's definitely smaller than a two inch. If not, we'll have to load it into the bed of the truck, but I would love to be able to pull this thing back to Bradenton. All right, we're going to see if the ball hitch fits on here. It looks a little smaller than a two inch, but yeah oh man yeah it's an inch and seven eighths dang here's our issue we got a one and seven eighths ball but this is a three inch receiver on a two inch receiver so we're just gonna kind of ghetto it a little bit the pin is three quarter inch and this is five eighths so i went ahead and got a three quarter inch drill bit now we're gonna drill this thing out got the old trusty shop vice <laughs> she's seen a lot huh yes <laughs> that's a good one I like how it's mounted on this pole. I'll have to do that. Got a little better step drill bit here. Money. Over there. All the way through? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get it in here. Get this pin set up. Side to side ain't too bad, but up and down is obviously a little sketch. But I mean, I'm willing to send it. So to help with the side to side, we got a little rubber wedge. We used to use the tent, we're gonna grind it down, drill our three quarter inch hole through it. That should help us be a little more stable. Money. A little better. Happy with that. Guys, we are on the way home with the DP trailer in tow. Unreal. What a solid little adventure. We're going to run her home back to Bradenton. Might be a little sketch, but we're doing it. All right, look at how little this thing looks on my truck. Uh, it's bouncing around a little bit. She's on leaf springs, which I'm kind of surprised, but... She was a little, a little bouncy back there. Now, the four pin is not hooked up, so I haven't even tried to see if the lights work. So I'm over here at Northern Tool, just getting an extension for this old four pin here. Looking a little crispy. Get her plugged into the old pick em up truck, see how she looks. But dude, look at the leaf springs on this thing. I was so surprised to see that. Great tires, those look brand new. Unbelievable. Okay. Time to test the trailer brakes. And not looking good. Not looking good at all. Dang it. 
taking her up to about 60 miles an hour. She's got a little bit of a sway going on, not ecstatic about that. But it is what it is, small trailer life. I pulled over on 275, getting a little more trailer sway than I want. So I'm gonna move the weight that I've gotten here to the front of the trailer. It's underneath this board. Got the weight redistributed. I'm gonna hop back in my truck and keep running. Got cruise control, rolling at 57. And I got a little bit of sway, but you know, I've only got about 50 pounds of weight in there. I'm, I'm sure once we get it weighed down a little more, she'll be more stable. Well, the trailer made it. Look at how good that thing looks behind the car. I mean, I am blown away. <laughs> this is the most epic purchase I have made this year. I am so stoked about it. <laughs> we do need to get a little drop hitch hooked up to the back of this motion parachute. Get it rewired up, get some paint touched up get the wiring for the lights redone and we are absolutely dialed for the next race week i am just ecstatic that's it up for this episode of teeth and turbos make sure you subscribe like leave me a comment and we'll see you on the next episode as a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. That's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only $39. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush out every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.